In the corner time, there was a boy called Little Red. Actually, that's not quite true. Little Red was only a nickname of a nickname. We're calling the boy Little Red because it's good to say. The boy's real name was Tommy Pamphlet. And his nickname was Little Red Box of Shorts. Little Red got his nickname when he was in second grade, which was when he started wearing red boxes with him every day. Honestly, it was a, it was a rather weird fashion statement. Little Red was a pretty strange kid, and people just got used to it. Anyway, no one realized that one day Little Red's head had some boxes that not only saved his life, they saved his grandma's life too. It started with a phone call. Ring. Hello? Marchish! Marchish! I'm missing Marchish! Grandpa? Is that you? I'm you say something about beef? I need my first cheese! For a moment, Little Red was confused. Then he spotted a glass of water on the kitchen table. As soon as Little Red saw Red in the bottom of the glass, he was naturally with Grandpa on it. Don't worry, Grandpa. I found your false teeth. Little Red tossed the teeth into a basket and headed for his grandpa's cottage in the woods. But... Little Red didn't get far before Wolf came strolling down the path. The wolf smiled a sly toothy grin. Then it pointed toward a patch of mushrooms a little way from the path. Maybe you should pick your poor old toothless grandpa some mushrooms. They mush up quite nicely if he loses his teeth again. Thanks, Mr. Wolf. That's a great idea. Little Red strained the box of on his head and rushed to the path to pick the mushrooms. The wolf, he, the wolf made sure Little Red was distracted and hurried away licking his lips. It didn't take the wolf long to get to the cottage where Little Red's grandpa lived. Knock, knock. Little Red, is that you? Of course, Grandfather. I brought back your teeth. Since when do you call me Grandfather? Um, I, uh, meant to say Grandpa. Grandpa, I've been Grandpa since you were old enough to talk. Not Grandpa. <laughs> Are those other pink squares in your brain? Sorry, Grandpa. I mean, Grandpa. Wait, wait a minute. You're not little. He gave a little rattling grandpa flavored belt and closed all the curtains dark in the cottage. The wolf slipped into grandpa's bed and pulled the covers up to his big wolfy chin and waited for little red to arrive. Knock, knock. Hey, grandpa, I brought you tea. Wonderful. I can probably wait to use them. Come on in. The cottage door creaked ominously as Little Red entered the cottage. He squinted it in the dimly lit room and spotted his grandpa lying in the bed. Hello, oh, Grandpa. Your ears have really grown. All the better to hear you with my boy. And your stomach looks wonky. I ate a large lunch. But how could you eat without? You've got teeth. All the better to eat you with. The wolf sprang. Luckily, Little Red had lightning quick reflexes, formed from thousands of hours of video playing. Plus, he had his red boxer shorts. As quick as the flap of a hummingbird's wings, Little Red snatched the boxers from his head and shoved them over the wolf's snout. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> the wolf tried to yell and snap his jaws. All he could do was stick out his lips. And now take this. Little Red grabbed the boxer's elastic waistband and stretched it all the way across the cottage. 
Good job, you guys. All right, that was 